we've got two weeks uh, into the election, two weeks from Tuesday. Uh, if you haven't had your coffee or bagels or water, our campaign office is right there. But we thought that this is a, a great corner to help um, really electrify our Saturday. Uh, I want to thank you all for your commitment and time. Uh, we have two uh, very well-known leaders who have shaped, shaped uh, sculpted, and who have motivated people like myself and so many others in progressive politics in San Francisco. And so uh, I, and I know we are deeply honored to have former Mayor Art Agnos and former Supervisor Carol Ruth Silver, who was like right hand or left hand of Harvey Milk. <laughs> Left hand. <laughs> Left hand of Supervisor Harvey Milk here, so let's give him a round of applause. Yeah! yeah. I'm going to let them speak quickly, and then I'll give you uh, why you should not read the Chronicle after them. <laughs> Thank you all for being here, for being out here for Russ on this very, very cloudy day. I brought an umbrella. I have great hope that El Nino is going to bring us a relief from the drought. But the drought of good people in elective office in San Francisco has already been repaired with Ross. Ross yeah. is one of the very, very best of the elected officials we have in San Francisco. When you think about all the people who you have read about in the newspapers, which one of them has given a job to a formerly incarcerated person to keep that person from breaking into your car or mine or onto a minibus and robbing people. That is what people do when they come out of jail. If they don't have a way of supporting themselves, they don't have a job, they don't have a driver's license. That is one of the most important things that the sheriff has done. And the sheriff has also tried to save the money of the city of San Francisco, the taxpayers' money, by using deputy sheriffs in places where otherwise a much more expensive police officer has to be sent. That is, again, something that is a direct benefit to you and you and you and me, because I live not far from where we are speaking here, and I know that I'd rather have those dollars put into fixing the potholes on my street than right mm -hmm. put right into on. having excessively trained police officers ferrying prisoners well, from the sir. jail to the court. So I urge you to support Russ Mercurini. I urge you to get out and to uh, do the, the things that we all do at election time, put things on cars, put things in houses. Thank you for being here, and I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.